Yo, what's up? Uh, my name's Carlos. Carlos Ayala. Um, I'm a painter. Just that dude. Shit. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at cmorda underscore 666. I tried to get my name, but that shit was taken. And I was like, fuck it. Um, Carlos Ayala on Facebook. If you want to see shitty memes and shout out the homies, the day ones. You're, you're, you guys know who you are. Fucking shout out my band, my homies, my brothers, Dead Awake. Love you guys. Support us. Get our shirts, fucking Deathcore Drip, you already know what it is. And shout out to my guy for having me on the podcast. That shit's lit. <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. Thank you for coming, man. For real, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, um, so you say you're a calligraphy artist. When did you start, or how did it start, or, you know, what was the beginning uh, of Carlos drawing or picking up the pencil, uh, brush, or whatever? All right, so basically, I went like this. I am different from the rest of my family like they're straight up like as mexican as it gets like they go to bailes <laughs> all okay. this shit and i'm over here like i like going to concerts and going to mosh pits i like i like listening to indie music i like listening to metal i like listening to emo shit and then they just kept grilling me for it and i'm like fuck man and then at one point i was like fuck it if i paint cool shit like roses eyeballs fucking get into kind of some script or shit like that Specifically, Old English, that's my favorite fucking type of, I guess, letters to draw. Um, they would have some respect for me, like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, yo, can you do this? Yo, can you do that? But no, they was like, um, first time I did it at the family event, they were like, I better not see you in the streets be doing that shit. That's not fucking cool. What the fuck is wrong with you? You better study in school, fucking focus, do this, do that. And I thought they were going to be like, oh, yo, yeah, cool, support. No, it was the opposite. They were like, "Don't do this dumb shit." Oh, really? And I'm like, I'm like, damn, dude. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to like, be cool and shit. Trying to show you guys like, I'm not just like the black sheep, and yet, you guys took it as that. And I'm like, man, fuck it, whatever. I'm gonna just do me, you know. Uh, are you the only one in the family, or are you brother? You have brothers, sisters. I got a half sister in California. Oh, yeah. I've only seen her like a handful of times. I was just like once, but she stayed with us here. I got I got my little sister. She's she's like she's eighteen, but she's still my little sister. Like, <laughs> like as much as she's my sister, like the way we grew up, it was just me and her and my two other cousins. And those two cousins were really more like cool with each other. And me and her were like, even though she's even though she's my sister, we'd fight like we were brothers. Mm. Like fuck you, no fuck you. And I just started like punching each other and until someone cried. Yeah. I remember one time we got into a bed and. She ended up like, I don't know, I don't know what she did, but she ended up taking blood out of my back. Like, I don't, I don't know. She was a goofy. Ass, she was a weird little girl. <laughs> and she, I think she bit my back, and it was blood coming. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah. And after that, we really didn't fight. We just talked shit to each other and just piss each other off, and then laugh at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, but that's cool, man. Hell yeah. You know me. Uh, I got two older sisters. Yeah, like, same thing. Uh, I feel like I'm the black sheep of the family. Uh, I mean, when we were little, little, I know my sisters used to, like, play with me and stuff. But when I got to that age of, like, started being annoying, you know, because, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, fuck off. Bro. Yeah, yeah, don't fuck off. Go do your own thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, and uh, did you draw around them or did they tell you to draw or did you just pick it up all on your own? I haven't drawn since, like, I can remember, like. I'll be honest, all this shit has been self-taught because I haven't had art class since fifth fucking grade. Oh, shit, really? All this shit has just been, like, watching YouTube, going through Instagram feeds, the homies passing down knowledge, you know, that type of shit. That's the best. And, yeah, shit. That's about it, dude, because every time I, like, like, from fucking middle school to high school, like, no, you're not. No, we're not going to give you this. No, you you said you wanted to be in our class, but you ain't getting in our class. You're going to get, like, Spanish 1. Yeah. Spanish 2. I'm like, motherfucker, I already speak that shit. I don't want to <laughs> fucking sit in class and be like, donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. I want to be like, all right, so this is how, we, this is how we're going to do this. This is how we're going to do that. But I never got that option. So it's all just self-taught, you know? Yeah. yeah that's dope, dude. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Yeah, I mean, I was in art class most of middle school, elementary, but high school, I only had, like, one or two years of art. 
And it, and that was not what I was expecting. I thought I was gonna be like the dopest one, but once I got into art class, bro, in high school, yeah, dude, everybody was everybody was like talented, like realism or abstract shit that I wanted to do. I was like, holy shit, man. yeah, it's like it's like you're like, yeah, dude, I'm the shit, and then like, ah, oh, man, I still draw like a fucking elementary school kid. Fuck, I'm not on their level, shit. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, when did you start first drawing? Like, uh, first start drawing. Like, in, like, elementary school, you know, little bullshit stick figures. Like, I, what really got me into it was, like, fucking the flip aromas and cap and underpants. You remember those? Yeah, where yeah. you just be, like, flipping and shit and the picture would come to life? Yeah, yeah. It'd be into that. But then, at that time, I was really, I mean, really into fucking Legos, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, I would go home, I would have, like, a big-ass bus bin. A big-ass black bin. And I would dump them bitches on the living room floor and just sit there for fucking hours. Yeah. My weekend would consist of just sitting there building dumb shit yeah. and i met another dude he used to be he used to be my homie i don't know where he's at now miguel um we were talking about dude we should build it we should make comics dude we should make comics a fucking dude we both like legos you can make lego comics lego star wars comics dude we ain't nobody's done that shit so we just sit in fucking class and just fucking draw them yeah by hand for each other and shit and then we're like oh dude this is cool this is cool and then we were lucky enough to have art class together, and we would just be drawing, like, there was, like, a some bullshit where you had to draw two people, so me and him decided to draw two Lego people, kind of, like, fighting and shit, and mine was Star Wars themed, his was, like, kind of different, mm. and not, not a lot of people know this shit, because I just keep it to myself, but our fifth grade teacher noticed we fucking loved to draw, she straight up noticed, and I went to Marsh, it was kind of, like, more like white kids but also like mexican kids okay. but those white kids like i guess you could say had connections like their parents were like somewhat important people and this dude his fucking uncle or fucking dad some shit his dad owned um the fucking uh it was a butita brothers uh, mechanic shop by, uh, by church hill okay behind that gas station it used to be there it's not there no more um he got us in the fucking newspaper for drawing the fucking logos for Butita Brothers. Oh, really? I was in the fucking newspaper at, like, fucking, like, like, 10 or 11 years old, dude. Yeah. And not really many people know that, and it's pretty fucking cool. And we didn't even know we were going to do that. It was just like, who can draw this? And nobody really wanted to. Nobody really gave a shit about it. But me and him did, and we ended up in the fucking newspaper for it. And we were, that was like the first type of clown I ever fucking got in school. Yeah, dude. dude. It, was, it was a shit. It was a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Uh, what was your favorite Lego set or type or theme? Dude, fucking Star Wars. Yeah, Star dude, Wars. fucking Star Wars. I remember <laughs> me and him were in so into fucking Legos. We'd be like, all right, I got this set. Yeah. But you got that set. And we both want what we have. So let's just trade. Yeah. And we would just be trading and shit. And then at one point, I remember he gave me a big ass one, and I gave him a big ass one. And then we just switched. It was pretty fucking cool, dude. Um, my favorite one would be have to be like the Starship Cruiser, or well, the fucking plane that fucking Anakin Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker fucking used. And um, fuck the one where he becomes Darth Vader. You you know which movie I'm talking about, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that fucking black and yellow one, dude. That one. I'm still looking for that bitch because I'll be at Walmart one day and I'm like, oh shit, it's there. Right, I'll come back next week. I come back next week, that bitch is gone. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, man, I should have got it last week. Yeah, man, same. Uh, here, dude, I'll, I'll go to, well, stores that have toys and I'll try to look for like model sets of like uh, fucking um, Star Wars or anything space related because yeah. uh, they look pretty fucking cool. Facts. Yeah. Fucking. And yeah, dude, shit. Little did I know, like, this is besides to this. Um, all those building shits, um, Legos, fucking trying to build robots and shit, because I really loved Bionicle back in the day. Oh, yeah. Bionicle, is a, Bionicle <laughs> is a fucking shit. I don't care what anyone says, dude. And it's, they got to bring that shit back, bro. Yeah, dude. They, they, they got to bring it back. That shit was ahead of its time. And I was like, dude, this is fucking cool. I wish I knew how to do something else, like, like model figures and shit like that. Little did I know... My, I got a, like, relative in Chicago. Like, he goes to Japan a lot. Really? Like, he's, he works his ass off to to get things he wants, you know? So, yeah. respect. And when he goes to Japan, he, bring back, he brings back figures. Like, model kits of Transformers from Japan. Ooh. Dragon Ball Z characters. Fucking yeah. so on and so forth. And one day I saw 
he was showing everyone what he got, and it was a fucking Gundam figure. And I didn't know what the fuck that was back in the day, until like fucking couple years ago, where I kind of just discovered anime and after like leaving it alone for a while. And now I just really love Gundam figures. Yeah. Like my love of Legos turned into something else that's pretty fucking cool. It's time consuming, but shit, it's fun. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, I definitely want to buy a Gundam, like the the ones you actually build from scratch. Yeah, dude, those are the fucking shit, bro. We're so fucking lucky to have an anime store in fucking Rockford. Like, too cool, bro. Fucking... Wait, we do? Wait, yeah, which dude, one is it? the fucking mall, bro. Fucking too cool. You know where, um... Too cool. I haven't really been in the mall in years, bro. Bro, all right, all right. Except for recently, but I was only at the candy store the farthest. All right, so it's like on the other side of that mall. Uh-huh. All right, so you know where, like... JC Penny is and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you know how there's an entrance and there used to be a Friars over there and shit. I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, Friars. I remember Friars. All right, right so <laughs> where Friars was, it's like now a nail salon. Across from it, it's a store called Too Cool, and they have a wall full of fucking Gundam. And I'm not talking about just like, like straight up like Gundam shit, like robots. They have Dragon Ball Z characters you could build like that. Mm. Fucking. Star Wars figures you could build like that. Godzilla figures you could build. Dude, anything you could fucking damn your dream of, they have that you could fucking build. Oh, shit. Dude, it's a fucking shit. Yeah, I might have to visit. Huh, yeah, I do. They have a bunch of other anime shit, too. Minecraft shit, too, which is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Man. Yeah, dude. Do, do you collect any of that stuff? Uh, which, like, Gundam figures or, like, just figures in general? Yeah, figures in general. Yeah, dude. Like, I got, like, a Evangelion figure I got there. Their figures are relatively priced, bro. Like, I got mine for like twenty bucks. Oh really? Okay. Dude, they're fucking bad. cheap and they just sit there and they look so fucking cool. I are, got. Are they those big rising ones or just like? It's like the vinyl ones. Oh okay. Kind of right. like imagine like Funkos, but like, like, not like, looking stupid and shit. Like all small. Yeah okay. And I have a sword on online one. Sword art online, yeah. And my girl, I got my girl fucking like. Kid Goku one. Like, when Goku, when he was a kid, yeah, yeah. and he's just sitting there looking retarded as fuck next to these two big-ass ones. And it's fucking <laughs> funny as shit, dude. I love it. Oh, hell yeah, uh, dude. But yeah, dude. God, I love this store. It's fucking fun. Uh, what was your favorite anime growing up? Uh, when I grew up, it was just basically Toonami. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck was on Toonami, I fucked with. My very first one was Space Dandy. I don't know if yeah. people remember that one, but that one. That was a horny dude in fucking space. That, that basically what I got from it as a little kid. And then, so on, later on down the road, I got in the Blue Exorcist, Black Lagoon, which is fucking amazing, and the animated version of Black Dynamite. Oh, okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, at first, I was like, damn, dude, they made an, there's an anime about this shit, dude, that's cool. And then, I was scrolling down, I was scrolling on the fucking, like, guide and shit, and I was like, Black Dynamite, the movie, like, no fucking way, they made a movie out of the anime. But little did I know, it was a fucking movie before it was an anime. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, dude. Dude, my dad's fucking sick. And then, um, I just discovered my new favorite anime thanks to my homie Luis. I fucking love you, bro. Fucking Code Geass. Code Geass. Dude, it's fucking like two seasons long. But dude, like all I gotta say is you gotta if you got time, you can sit down and watch both seasons in like a week if you really wanted to. Oh, sure. I I remember I was like he'd let me borrow those like the fucking um, Blu-ray set and fucking. February, I think. And I just started watching it in fucking March, so I just sat on my fucking shelf. He's like, dude, you watch that shit yet? I'm like, no, bro, I don't got time because of work and shit. He's like, dude, you gotta fucking watch it, bro. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, alright, fuck. I'll watch it, I'll watch it. At the time, I had my TV and PlayStation down in the basement because it was cooler and I like to be like cold. I don't know why. Hey. And first episode in, I stayed up till four in the morning and I got just like episode six. And I realized I had to be at work at like fucking 12. <laughs> I was like, fuck. And I got back home. Instead of going to sleep, I was like a responsible fucking adult. I said, it's a foreign morning again, watching anime. And so on and so forth until I finished it. And there was this one song in the anime that I've heard before. It was a sample for a little peep song called Gods. And, dude, I, I didn't know it was from there. I heard it in, in the anime. And I was like, what the fuck? Why does it sound familiar? the fuck is wrong with this one? Why, do, why am I getting nostalgia? And then I look up the song, and I hear the sample, and I'm like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. Like, holy shit. It gave me fucking shows like, no fucking way, dude. This is, this is shit, dude. Yeah. I love it. 
Well, where, where can you find the show? Or where, like, Netflix, uh, uh, I'm Amazon? Sure, I'm pretty sure Netflix will... Or shit, you can even buy the Blu-ray disc on fucking Amazon. Like, both seasons come combined, so it's like, it's like 30 bucks. Okay. 30 bucks, 60 bucks. I, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but... Yeah. It's a shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, I definitely love my anime, man. I grew up... Grew up with the classics, you know, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, fucking a whole bunch more. Uh, recently though, I haven't really watched too much, like the Dragon Ball Z Super or the the t- uh, yeah, tournament. The, yeah, I didn't really watch too much of that, cause man, dude, ugh. I just get I just get busy and I have drawing and shit, so I really don't have time. Yeah, facts, cause like I'll be, I'll be like, all right, cool, I'm, I'm gonna put this on in the background so I could listen to it while I draw. I end up not even drawing. I end up just watching the whole. Film. I just, just watch the TV. And I'm yeah. like, fuck, dude. Fuck. Yeah, and I hate doing that too. Just leaving it in the background because you know if I do peep something interesting, I'll stop. Yeah, and then you're just sucked into it and like oh, fucking rip painting. Yeah, do you doing shit now? Huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that's cool, man. Oh yeah, fucking um. Yeah, dude. What what do you work with? Do you work with just pencil, paper, or just paint or? canvas or whatever, whatever shit well fucking whatever bro fucking i recently got recently got into hydro dipping if you know you know what that is right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there's these things called um marabou or marabou fucking like paints basically you get like a bucket of water just thinking, and i was i was so wrong and shit they go like this with the fucking like little things of paint and they stick on the fucking on um, water and then i go whatever color scheme i want like this one i just went with fucking gold silver and fucking black and wait I, so this was hydro dip yeah dude. Ooh, damn. so i fucking i just get, get the fucking colors in there and then i get a fucking like toothpick or a fucking stick from the backyard for all i give a shit mm-hmm. and i just fucking go like latte lines you know i do those little fancy lines and shit and then i just whop. Mm, and then then you start painting over it and then i like let it sit there for a second then i pull it out dry it and let it sit for like 24 hours oh really yeah oh, okay and then this year I just did with some like markers that I got. I'm not even like I was at a barber and he's like, I remember you like to paint. I was like, yeah. He's like, why? He's like, cause I got like two hundred dollars with the markers I got and I'm not even using them. You wanna? I'm like, what type are they? And I saw, and I think they're like <sighs> Molotov. No, 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 no. Hold on, I got, I got a uh, Pintar or something like that. I forget. No, that's a sharpie. Uni pastas, the unis. Oh, and I was like, oh shit. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll take them bitches off your hand, bro, for sure. And yeah, he blessed me with that shit. And yeah, yeah I had to do all that shit, dude. Yeah, I, I own some of them, man. They're fucking excellent when it comes to. I mean, uh, mine, yeah, they're they, like coverage. You yeah, coverage ones, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if they can cover over the paint from the. First, yeah, first heart, yeah, it's a shit. Yeah, what I usually like to do, like the orange shit, I kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, fucking up here, like the part, this part of the S. Uh-huh. Um, I was like, fuck it, I'll go over with the orange. It's orange. It's gonna be bright. No, uh-huh. no. I was, I was like, fuck. So I stopped here, and then I went around the letters with white. Uh-huh. Let the white dry, and then I hit it with the orange to make it brighter. Oh, uh-huh, okay. So that way, like. It just absorbs the fucking white and instead of the fucking metallics and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It looks good though, bro. Shit, hell yeah, dude. Hey, bro. Yeah, I definitely love graffiti, man. I remember, I remember like when I did get into art, man. Graffiti was the first thing I got into. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you know or ever heard of the game called uh, Getting Up. Mark Echo's Getting Up. Yeah, yeah. bro. I got the. Oh shit! Oh shit! I, I mean, I don't got this on me. Shit, that was way too. I was way too young and dumb, but man. Ooh. God yeah, man. dude. Oh goddamn, boy. Yeah, bro. Blast from the past. Hey, this is fucking history right here, my boy. Yes, bro. I didn't know what I had, but I always kept it. Dude, that's a shit. Yeah, bro. If you look all the way in the back, you'll see some of my crappy art and some art from uh people. Yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, my my sister's friend, she he did that. It's already just not colored. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Great guys, man. Shout out to them, bro. That was when I was little, bro, like what, ten? Younger, maybe. Dude, this is the shit. Yeah, dude. So hopefully that guy's still around. Facts. 
Yeah, because that motherfucker is talented. There's also another one, too, because I had two people. The other guy I like, too, because he did, like, continuous lines. Oh, here we go. I love shit like that. Oh, yeah, he did the one strokes. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm like, wow, dude. Non-stop shit like this. I love this and stuff like that, bro. For real. That's fucking hot. That's, that's, that's hot. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So I always kept this, man, because I knew it would be dope someday. That's a shit. There's, like, a bunch of shit like that I had as a kid, but not not like that, but, like, cool shit, you know, that I wish I kept this a kid. Now it's gone forever because I was stupid. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm like... I don't need this shit. Yeah, man. We really don't know what we have in, when we're young, you know? We just think it's cool at the time until we... Until we get rid of it, and then we're like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I got into art, bro, because, you know, I played that game. My dad would draw on paper, you know, some old school lettering, and then I took it from there. I did my own lettering in Bubble, and then, then like... Like, little shit like that. And then when I met my cousin, that's when I got into more pictures. You know, skulls, flowers, yes. birds, and shit like that. Uh, how did you... How did you first start off? Like, did you... The, did, the letters and shit? Or yeah, just like, in general? Yeah, in general. Uh, it was mostly because I wanted to appeal to my family, like I said before. But once I saw they didn't give a shit about that, I realized, like, damn, it's it kind of fun. Fucked around Lego figures, and I'm fucking done with that. I want to be cool. And it was, did you? Because all throughout middle school, girls would be like, hey, can you draw my name for me? Can you draw my name? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And, you know, it would be back in the day, You'd like if you had a box of those uh, binders that you could stick shit in the front, you, it was like you could decorate however the fuck you wanted. That'd be your personality and shit. Yeah. It was like, I want you to go, go off. Like, do what you want to do. Draw my name. Make it cool as shit. And, but yeah, shit. I was just go hard. John their names like oh my god thank you oh my god this so on and so forth and that's how a bunch of people kind of got to know me back in the day oh, that's dope. Yeah, some yeah. of them still know me because of that shit and it's pretty fucking cool yeah. and then, like from drawing their name in fucking middle school and shit yeah, yeah man that's what i used to do in high school well i mean yeah high school you know people would always run up to me and I'm like hey man can you draw like because i would always draw have some drawings but i would I was never paying attention in high school, so I would always be that one kid that never paid attention drawing. And then people would just come up, oh, can you draw me this? Can you draw me that, bro? A lot, bro. I remember I was so booked that there would be times where I'd tell people I can't even draw. Like, uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm booked. I'm booked. You got to make your reservations ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, I got openings next year. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You know what's fucked up, bro? I would do that to everybody. Anybody that I felt like, you know, like I got too much on my hands, even the girls, you know. Yeah. And at the time, you know, I didn't really think like, fuck, you know, I could have done something with that. But, you know, like I said, I was just young and dumb. I, I regret it. <laughs> no. Shit, fuck it. I remember at one point, it was like Halloween and shit. We had like those, like, Simpsons comics were fucking, I forgot what the fuck they were. But it was a treehouse of horror, and I was bored one day at home, and I drew, like, Homer Simpson, but with the fucking head of a donut, or with the, like, with the, like, bite ticking off. Okay. Yeah. I drew that shit, and I had it on my binder. I was probably, it was pretty fucking cool. And then they're like, can you draw me that? Can you draw me that? And I, like, instead of everyone's name, for like a whole month, I just did Homer Simpson with the fucking donut head. <laughs> yeah. They just really fucked with that one out of everything. They're like, you sure you don't want to do your name? No, I just want Homer Simpson with the donut head. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, all right. Yeah, man. Have you ever gotten a weird request? Like a weird drawing request? You're like, dude, how the fuck do I even draw that? Uh, well, yes and no. I don't know if it's weird. But like, um, fuck, it was like, it was, I think it was like seventh hour, fucking, I don't fucking remember, it was like the second to last hour before school was over, and my homie hits me up, he's like, hey, um, can you draw me this? And I'm like, yeah, what do you want me to draw? He's like, can you draw me a cross with a rosary and some flowers? Like purple, purple roses? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, for sure, what's it from, bro? And, and then I remembered, bro, his mom just recently passed away, rest in peace, and he said he was trying to get a hold of somebody that he didn't really come through and just left him on scene or some shit like that. And it's like, fuck it, I trust you, bro. And I drew that shit, bro. I, like, 
My teacher was like, what the fuck are you doing? Pay attention to class. I'm like, man, fuck off. I'm doing something. He's like, what are you, why are you drawing a crossword? I'm like, well, you're going to be edgy. Turn it upside down. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no. Like, my homie's mom passed away, and, like, he wants him to draw this for, like, her fucking. I'm like, I don't, I don't remember. And he was like, oh, yeah, for sure. That's fine. Take your time. Just do, do that. It's kind of more important than just the bullshit. Like, I got to teach you. She didn't say that, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and like, I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, cool. And I could do like, like two or three purple roses. I even added a purple butterfly and like on the top of the cross. And I put her name and then like a quote she always said. And I made sure it was like on the best piece of paper I had, best markers I had. And I really like went into detail with that shit. Oh, yeah. And. My homie still has it, and he was like, yeah, bro, I fucking appreciate this so much. It really means a lot to me. And, yeah, dude, I mean, it's the weirdest request I've got. Oh, really? Like, and that was, like, last minute type of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, me, bro, I always had people just come up to me and, like, ask me to draw them or draw, like, a person or something in, like, some cool way, dude. I'm like, oh, man, I always tell everybody right away, like, I'm down to draw whatever, but I can't draw humans, you know? Humans, like... Yeah, that's a whole different type of scale. Yeah, dude, because if you draw, and like, the person and, like, something's off, like, an inch off, it looks like a totally different person. It looks, it looks fucking weird. <laughs> you know, it just came into my mind. You know, you know, I don't know if you ever seen the meme where, like, somebody's like, oh, I just drew uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, but it looks oh, like Manny yeah. 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 yeah, I've seen that shit. <laughs> Bro, dude. dude, those are fucking funny as shit. Bro. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god! And then uh, I don't know if you ever seen the other meme too, where like it's like you know, oh, I drew all the all the rappers, and then they're like totally disformed. And yeah, it. it's like, dude, that dude's fucking out here with that shit. It's, he's funny, so. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but. Um. Uh, man, let me see. Yeah. Okay. So there was this one time. Uh, this guy he he wanted me to draw. A metal. A metal marijuana leaf being welded together with, you know, those, the welding stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but making it look like they're not welding, which was like, what? And then, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, what? And then uh, he was like, yeah, and, uh, you know, just do some badass calls around her or something like that. He was giving me all this descriptive detail. I was like, yeah, bro, I can't do all that. When somebody goes into, like, fine detail. It's like. It's like, bro, you got to give me something to play with shit so I can, like, kind of work it into, like, the thing. You can't just tell me, like, I want this, this, and that. And yeah, I can do it. But I'm not going to kind of, like, be pleased with that shit. I got to at least play play with it. Make sure, like, I'll put this here. Put that there. Add another one of this there. Yeah, yeah. Draw a dick there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Um, but, yeah, man, I always get some weird requests. Some of them, some of them are cool. Some of them uh, seem kind of hard, so I really can't get to. Cause, you know, there is times where people want, like, a memorial piece. But a memorial piece, for me, does take time. Yeah, you don't want to half-ass that shit. That's something people are going to, like, they're going to keep for a while. Yeah, and, uh, and I can't just do it to everybody. So if anybody on Facebook is like, oh, can you draw me in my a memorial? I, if I don't know you, personally, I can't do it. Because it's going to be, um, it's going to be overwhelming, you know? Because I feel like if I know the person, I'm going to have pressure to where, like, you know, I have to make it look good, you know? Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, you know? and, uh, yeah man. But, yeah, me, I always, I always stuck to pencil and paper. Yeah, uh, painting, it was always a pain in the ass, man, because if you fuck up with paint, you got to cover up the whole thing or, or the majority of the part. Or just yeah. fuck, yeah, I feel it. But that's why I love fucking spray cans, like spray paint, bro. You have a built-in eraser in the fucking can. Yeah, yeah. That's it's fucking it's the shit. It's yeah. like, whoopsies. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one thing, the downside for me about painting, I don't use it regularly, is, you know, like, the toxic... The fumes and shit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those fumes can get fucking gnarly, dude. I've known people, or I know people that, like, have health conditions because of the fucking fumes. And that scares me, man. Like, that that's fucked. And I'm out here doing dumb shit. Like, I'm like, ah, I'm fine. But, but the thing is, there's certain people that, you know, they use them, but, like, they use them, like, close to their face. You know, they let the aerosol or whatever you want to call Just it. Just absorbing shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, all up in their areas, you know, they don't cover their face. 
Yeah, I do. I remember I was painting one time, and I was like really close to when I was painting, and I had a big can of chrome. Mm. And dude, I laughed. I was, I was like, "Why the fuck can I taste the fucking paint?" Oh, really? Dude, I had a fucking mask. I had my hoodie over the fucking mask. I was like, "I was set." I can still fucking feel that shit, dude. Oh, shit. And I fucking, <laughs> I go back home, I turn on the lights, and my fucking windbreaker's covered in chrome from where I was. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, white, that one's the mist, the mist of white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that gets far. Yeah. That can travel far. Have, have you ever looked into your nose after a paint session? Like painting with spray paint, and did you see all that shit in there? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm not <laughs> lying. I done it the first. The first time I was like, oh, this is a bad. I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. But then one day, I was just really going ham with some canvases, so on and so forth. I'm, like, I'm going to take a peep inside. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so this is what they mean. Yeah. This is what they mean. This That's kind of fuck shit. I don't. Eh, I'll clean it and then I'll pretend like nothing happened. Uh, have you ever gotten dizzy from it? No, nah, dude. Like, surprisingly, no. And you know what's fuck, too? Huh. Like, in my parents' basement, when I used to... I was a fucking shit, I don't know why. I used to, like... <laughs> I remember for the fattest minute, I would just be drawing on cardboard and painting on cardboard. It's like, dude, that's fucking cool. Why not? It's a fucking free canvas, damn near. Yeah. So I would go to all these, just take all the empty boxes and shit. <laughs> and, and there's, like, a, like... There's, like, a mom, like, what the fuck? There's no boxes. How am I, gonna, how am I supposed to put this shit in my car? <laughs> I'm like, well, bitch, sucks to be you. You should have got a fucking bag. <laughs> And I take those boxes, I would fucking, like, break them down so I could have, like, the big square pieces, the ones that aren't, like, fucked up. I'd cover them, and then I'd be in my room, yeah. which is why my parents fucking hated. And I'd be painting inside my, inside the fucking house with the door closed, with not with no fans to bring in ventilation, just in there, just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And after that, they're like, fuck off. So I went down to the basement, and I made them my little chill space for a bit. I'm like, I'm, are you still? I, we told you you can't fucking paint in the house. Get the fuck, go the fuck outside. Go to the backyard. Go do something. Yeah. Don't be inside the fucking house. Yeah. Even from being indoors and painting, I I never really got dizzy from it. Like I'm surprised. Or headaches or anything? Throbbing headaches? No, no, not that. Yeah, yeah. Cause uh, one time, man, I, I painted my homeboy's basement. Uh, dude, I like I didn't really realize about the. the fumes until like i open the door bro you can see it like the shade of the fumes in yeah, the room. yeah yeah it's like you open the door you step outside you come back in you could see him like Smell. i was just in that bitch yeah dude, what I, the fuck yeah and uh after that bro fucking uh i noticed headaches bro and like my head didn't feel quite right i felt spacey i didn't feel high but i didn't feel normal like I felt like the you, you felt like something. You felt off. Like you knew yeah. you, you knew you were off, but you weren't like completely like fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, and then that after that day, I learned that if I'm a paint somewhere, I gotta have a fan. I gotta have my mask, and it has to be a space where there's windows. Yeah, but, yeah. I can't. I I can't really fucking be in a in a room like that no more, dude. Cause you know I have been working with paint. For a while, so I definitely have smelled or inhaled a good amount of fumes. Yeah. Fumes can't kill. And fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, man, it's been 34 minutes, man. So we're going to head to the smoke room. I definitely stay tuned. Check out my boy Carlos on Instagram. Facts, facts. And Facebook. Facebook, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely follow, man. Check out his art, where it's uh, fucking amazing, man. Definitely love it, man. <sighs> Appreciate it. Yeah, so, yep, stay tuned. What is up, guys? I want to make a few announcements. This weekend, the 25th of September, I will be at Screw City Uprising. Definitely come check it out, guys. There will be music, art, uh, vendors, Definitely come check it out. It's gonna be it's gonna be a vibe, man. I <clears throat> I definitely can't wait. I'm gonna be sharing a booth with Chris Jeebus and Jay Church, two amazing artists, guys. I definitely can't wait to check out their artwork. I'm definitely excited. And 
as well come check out my pieces in this event i'm going to be showing off my displays and selling them uh some of my custom displays my spray can monsters guys definitely come check them out i might have some art pieces as well for sale um i thank everybody definitely come check it out this weekend screw city guys definitely come check it out show some love uh it's, it's definitely gonna be a community based vibe you know so it should be a few things to check out and see from a bunch of different amazing artists shout out saya and Daylon rose <clears throat> i definitely can't wait to see what they come up with as well so Thank you guys. Stay safe and stay tuned and let's get back to the interview. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you again for coming, man. I hope this wasn't too weird. I know certain artists don't really like to talk about themselves, but to tell you the truth, I feel like everybody, every artist or anybody with a business skills, you know, break dancing or just somebody that has amazing skills, man, they should definitely talk about it speak up about it especially since rockford is getting up there with you know art and like, yeah you know. we're building a name for ourselves slowly but surely yeah i mean even Shit. If, yeah even if it's not art man we if rockford has actually been on the map or the list you know you know uh back then even with the apparently this is why i heard i can't always confirm it but apparently rockford was on the top 10 list of being bombed by hitler or something like because we had the most screws. Yeah. We're at the screw city. Yeah. And fuck them, though. And fuck his ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I was just always amazed. Because, you know, I thought Rockford was just like a little ass town that nobody knew about. You know? It's like to me, bro, like I was at work one day and then this dude was like, yeah, dude, fucking Rockford's like a, it's like a big city, but it's really a big town. Like everyone damn near has connections to everyone. Like someone yeah. knows someone. And then you do, you're like, oh shit, you know that person? Yeah. We'll see, you know. Oh, shit. Damn. You fucking we basically hanging out with the same people down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met a, I've known a, quite a bit of people that knew some of my family members, which was weird, because I always thought... I always thought Rockford was big, but it's actually little. Yeah. yeah. Fucking... I don't know what with that, but... Um, <laughs> fucking half the people I know know this person, and they also know that people... Pretty fucking cool, like somehow, some way, like someone knows each other. Like this one dude at work, like he knows the basis of my band, like and the fucking guitarist, like the lead guitarist, and he fucking they knew each other because they kind of grew up in the same area, and like in Peck. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, dude. I was like, you know, you're from Peck. He's like, yeah. Like you know this dude? Yeah. You want know a fucked up story? I'm like, yeah, share him with it. I was like fucking little, and they were like high schoolers, and. They were fucking weird, man. I remember at one point, like, I was sleeping over, and then one of them just pounced on me. It was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then they were all just fucking laughing, and I was like, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck? And it was like a specific video I can't mention, but it was being played in the background, and they were all just laughing like a bunch of fucking retards. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. And I'm like, so is that why you're weird? And I was like, no, that's, that's just... That just kind of what happened been to, to like start making it weird. It was just the tip of the iceberg. To yeah. Say. yeah, yeah, man. So it's, uh, I didn't know you were in a band. Man. I was talking about it. So you're in a band. Are you what, what position you play? Bro, I'm, I'm that merch guy, bro. I sling shirts like I sling crack on the streets. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, no, I got, but uh, it's on the merch guy. I've been I've been with the drummer since fucking high school, bro. Me and him used to skip at the McMobile. If you know about the McMobile, you a fucking real one. I love you. I don't fucking God. Fucking yeah. the McDonald's and Mobile, they used to be on Charles in front of Schnucks. Okay. By East. I, I used to go to the East. And we just be sitting. We just skip there, sit, scratch up whatever money we had, eat, and just sit there the whole fucking day. Really? They never said shit about us <laughs> in there because they knew we'd go and buy some food and we'd just be chilling in there. Dude, there's so many weird stories about there. Like, no, yeah, I bet, I, bro. I fucking, so, me and him were skipping one day, bro. There was this dude that looked like Bill fucking Murray. He looked like Bill fucking Murray, bro. He was just sitting across the fucking restaurant and just look at us. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Blank expression on his face. Just... 
uh, pedal Mary. D- damn near. <laughs> damn near. And then one day, we're fucking eating, bro. That's when the Shamrock Shake came back around that time. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, ooh, bro, we got some money. We got some extra money, bro. We got, we can get a, we can get some chickens and a fucking Shamrock Shake, dude. So we're eating. I'm like, dude, this is shit. I love it. And he comes up to the fucking, like, booth we were at. And he just stands there. He just stands at the edge of the table. It doesn't say shit. For solid two minutes, he's just fucking standing there. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? He's just standing there. Looks at us. Looks at him up and down. Looks at me up and down. And then walks away. I've never seen that fucking man ever again, dude. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened, dude? Yeah. What the fuck just happened? And he's like, dude, weren't you scared? I'm like, no. I was just mostly scared that he was going to fucking take our food or some bullshit. Like, or our backpack. Shit. <laughs> I got cool shit in my backpack. I don't want him taking my shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was this other time. There was this one dude. He was like very fucking sketch. He's like, hey, bro, bro, I got that gas on me, bro. What's, what's the word, bro? And I smell you, bro. I smell your backpack, bro. I got better shit than that, bro. Come to my car, bro. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good, bro. If you got something, fucking show me right now, bro. It's fucking McDonald's. Ain't nobody give a shit. <laughs> like, beginning of that year, also, my homie was in there. He was like, fucked up, and he like started smoking a cigarette in there. In the, inside the McDonald's, they didn't say <laughs> shit to him. Oh, wow. Mocked out smoking a cigarette. I'm like, damn, dude. Anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, anarchy, right? Nobody give a shit. Damn, it's with McDonald's. For real, dude. So, I'm like, nah, bro. I'm good, bro. Hey, bro, come on, bro. Hey, let me get your number, bro. All right, bet. All right, all right come on, bro. Come to my car, bro. I'll be waiting for you. And then I see four other dudes get in the fucking car. And there's only, and it's like a fucking, like, it's a, I think it was like a coupe or some shit. Oh, hell. And I'm like, there ain't no fucking way I'm hopping in that bitch. Hell no. I'm going to be like one of those kids on the post, like on the wall at Walmart, like missing child. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not doing that shit. Hell no. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm not doing that shit. So we got an Uber and we Ubered to the fucking school. Even though we could have just walked there, we just like, fucking, I'm just going to Uber so the dude doesn't know where the fuck we're going. I'm not trying to see, I'm not trying to see his ass. Yeah, as yeah. Fuck. So. Dude. Dude, it's weird, man. You find the weirdest people at McDonald's. Dude, that... No. No. <laughs> you ever been to the cash on Kishwaukee? Yeah. Or like, well, I mean, I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, I've been, yeah. Dude, every time I go there, it's 20... Like, I usually have to wait for my food for like 20 fucking minutes. I don't give a shit because whatever, whatever happens in those 20 fucking minutes, it's usually funny as shit. Yeah. It's funny as fuck, dude. Like I thought, I, I thought the Bill Murray shit and that one dude trying to fucking do someone kidnapping and robbing was weird, yeah. but no, nah. that Kishwaki shit, dude, that should be a whole other fucking level. Yeah. It's like they damn near need a reality TV show from that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, bro. Tell me why I can see uh, that. I can see like dude, that'd be the shit. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Catch on Kish. Today we're having these two weirdos, and like this dude threatening to beat people up. Hey, for real, bro. Come back next time. <laughs> you, you have, like, the weirdest people walking in there just doing weird shit, bro. I, I remember seeing this one dude. His He was wearing a shirt that was too small for him. Like, half his fucking stomach was hanging out. Like, some little girl shorts. Some <laughs> flip-flops. And he had, like, a mohawk. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Now, what the sick. fuck is going What the fuck is going on, dude? I do not... I don't, I low key, I did. I was like, dude, I don't feel safe with this bitch. Now I'm gonna go sit in my car and wait for my food, and then go back in 20 minutes. <laughs> Fuck that. But good food though. I love the fucking I love fire. The, fire, fire, dude. Wait, what do you get there? I get uh, the the chicken. I get the chicken, the fried chicken. I get the, uh, I think three wings or two wings and a in a fillet. Look through the combo. I just call it the combo, and they know okay. what I'm talking about. Okay. That shit's fucking gas. I love the, the 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 fucking more dangerous the fucking neighborhood the better the food is gonna be on <laughs> fucking god. I swear, dude. That's funny. Back to, I mean, I like I work in a restaurant. Like I'm a cook, and I'm like I've kind of like somewhat know some restaurants like some good shit. And don't get me wrong, they're good. But damn, there's something about being in a dangerous neighborhood and getting your food that just makes it taste better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like. Mm. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> mm, this shit good. Hey, for real. I mean, um, I've never really felt in danger too much. I mean, obviously, I know there's always something weird going on in Rockford, but uh, I know in Chicago, bro, I went to like, I forgot this place. It was like a hot dog place. Very sketchy neighborhood, bro. No, I feel like 
kill you, bro. Like, <laughs> I fucking kill you on that, bro. <laughs> I every I had to I had to keep an eye out, bro, because yeah. I know obviously me or anybody like in the wrong neighborhood can get checked or you know yeah. turn south real fast. But uh, she's gonna go south not real fast, and you're like. Where's my food? <laughs> you had you're gonna be like you're probably wondering how the fuck I got here. <laughs> you're probably like, well, it's some poor life decisions and being hungry got me here. <laughs> Shit. And it all began. <laughs> it all began that summer of second grade. Oh <laughs> 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 well, yeah, uh, shit. Uh, but uh, I forgot to mention this. Shouts out to Josh. I love you and your one nut boy. That's my fucking boss. I wanted to say that shit. Because, dude, fucking, they think I'm Puerto Rican at work. Yeah. And they kept saying, dude, when are you going to go on the Puerto Rican power hour? I'm like, fuck you, bro. That's not <laughs> what the fuck it's called, bro. And I'm, I'm going to fuck all your moms. Dude, especially Ryan. Yeah, bro. Watch out, guys. I'm watch out, dude. Watch out. <laughs> uh, well, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you know, playing with your co works like that. Yeah, it's the shit. Yeah. Uh, this is one coworker. He fucking, he fucking um, he moved to Colorado. Fucking big dick Pat. That's what I called him. <laughs> you know why I called him that? Because I have this fucking. I'm fucking. I'm still fucking. I'm still a fucking child, dude. Like I'm about to be twenty one. I'm still fucking like laughing at fucking dicks and shit like that. Like it's <laughs> ah, it's a dick. <laughs> like I went to Spencer's and I got him an inflatable dick. Okay, <laughs> and that bitch was like this fucking big, and what I fucking did, I was like, "Yo, everyone, go sign in like a fucking yearbook." Yeah. <laughs> they go sign it, go go write him a quote or some shit. And everyone was like, uh, giving him movie quotes because he was in the movies and shit. And then I was like, I was like, "Nice cough, bro. Love, um, Carlos." Yeah. And then everyone, was, someone else, and then someone was like, "I don't know you, but your mom knows me. Love, <laughs> like Trevor or some shit like that." I don't know. But it was fucking funny as shit. And then I'm like, all right, dude, come outside. I got, I got to get for you. And I popped the trunk. Yeah. I'm like, close your eyes, bro. And I pull it out and I just whack him in front of the face of the tip of the dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dude, oh my fucking God, I love it, dude. Oh my God, I'm going to bring it with me and I'm going to dress it up every month, dude. It's going to be a fucking cop for Halloween, dude. I already got it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, dude. I fuck, I'm glad you fucking liked it. Everyone signed. He's like, dude, I get... Oh, I remember. I know where that's from. I know where that's from. Yeah, it was a shit. Yeah, dude. It was cool as fuck. Yeah. Like, the whole day, I was like, yo, come outside. Yo, come outside. Come outside. Where the fuck are you going? Get back to work. Come outside. I'll show you why I'm outside. All right, that's funny. Go, go outside. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Um, do, do you draw with any of your coworkers or do does your coworkers? Nah, I don't draw. They're fucking squares. <laughs> 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 no, they do their own shit. You know, respect. I'm like the only one that really likes to do that shit. At least I believe. I don't really know. I just talk to the whoever's in the kitchen. I don't really talk to them out front. Unless I know them and shit. Oh, yeah. Because, man, dude, I'm always shocked to find out when I know somebody draws. You know, at a job or something. Or just when I meet somebody new and they... And I, they totally don't look like an artist or talk about artistry or anything. And then next thing you know, they pull out a piece or they show me, like, drawings they used to do. And I'm fucking amazed. No, actually, matter of fact, never mind, dude. The fucking, I'm stupid as hell. Fucking, uh, this is our dishwasher, Kevin Race. Shout out to you, bro. Congratulations on that baby. Love you. Get that money, boy. Um, He does graphic design, bro. Oh, really? He does graphic fucking design. He, he was like, yeah, dude, the reason I, how I got into it, I didn't even go to fucking school or nothing like that, dude. I was just YouTube that shit. And he got into it because he was around during MySpace. He's like 27. Okay. But when I first met him, I thought he was like my age. I was like, dude, holy shit, you're fucking 27? Damn, you're old. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro. I was like, damn, don't make me feel old, bro. I'm like, nah, I got you, bro. You won't feel relevant with me somewhat. And so I fucking, he was like, yeah, dude, I got into graphic design mostly because I wanted to make my MySpace look cool. And then now I just do fucking logos for companies, enter competitions, and whoever wins gets like 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. I've done some album covers, single cover. And now he's thinking about fucking doing, like, making his own clothing brand. Mm, that's what's and up. I'm like, bro, bro, I got you, bro. Let's do it. I'll support you, bro. I'm here. I'm like, bro, I got you, bro. I'll, give you, I'll hook you up for free. I'm like, no, 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 no. 
I'm paying for that shit, bro. I'm, I'm gonna help you get from start from the ground up, bro. Because he's he always wears these hoodies, like Riot Society hoodies, and they're like fucking cool. There's like a there's like a Michael Myers one with like that kind of looks like he's a samurai type of shit. Okay. And he fucking loves that one. And like it's like he's like yeah, I don't want to do shit like this. This one with like like mushrooms that looks trippy as fuck. That like. The further you go down from the mushrooms and turns into a fucking like a DNA strand or some shit like that, mm. it's pretty fucking cool. Where, yeah. where do you sell this products or or he, where? He, he's talking about doing that. I'm like, bro, I got you, bro. Like with the merch shit from the band, I know where to go. It's oh. like it's pretty fucking cool. Like our band member does it since like he works at a screen printing place. He fucking hooks it up there. Okay. Like in, in town or somewhere else? Yeah, in town, bro. Oh, okay. Like, and, and you know what's funny shit? He was like, bro, you think you can get right home today? Bro, my girl can't come pick me up. I'm like, yeah, for sure, I got you. He texts me, and I'm like, dude, you live down the street from the place where you live down the street from the screen printing place. He's like, no fucking way. Yeah. He's like, yo, I'll take you there right, for right now. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't even know that was there. I'm like, yeah, dude, like, you literally live down the fucking street. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. He's like, yeah, bro, I'll fucking, I'll, 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 I'll holler at them and see how much, like, they quote me and shit. Mm. I'm like, dude, because you gotta, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Yeah. You can't cheap out on that shit. I'm like, dude, if you want to, just get white. Because white is the cheapest color to screen print. And it looks nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason why I don't, I didn't get mine white was because I'm a dirty boy. I, I'm, I dirty everything. I already got a stain right here from paint. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, I feel you, bro. I'm, I'm like, I just got this shirt, like, from our album release show, like, last fucking week, I think, or, like, two weeks ago, and I already got stains on this bitch. <laughs> I just got this bitch, I'm like, yeah, like all my clothes, dude, they got paint on them. Yeah, dude, oh my god. And my girl's like, why the fuck don't you wear your clean clothes, why don't you wear this, like, your dirty clothes, like, you don't care about it. Man, it's clothes, who cares? It gives me character, it makes me feel unique. Yeah. I'm not like every other boy out here. Yeah, because, <laughs> I, I sure you not, man, like... Like, I know there's people that probably prepare to draw or paint in yeah. shitty clothes. Yeah. But there's times where it's like, it, it can come, it could, the, the drawings or the, the feels to draw can come whenever, man, when you're in the nicest clothes, when you're in the shittiest clothes, and that shit can get nice. When you when you're underwear, when you're in the shower, it don't fucking matter, bro. You, once you got that inspiration, I'm like, fuck, I got wrong with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be in the shower, and then I'm like, oh, shit, let me. I see how this looks. And then I'll just be drawn on the fucking wall with the condensation. And I'm like, damn, that looks fucking cool. I'll remember to do that on paper. Yeah, yeah, dude. And I'm like, I'll just be like, oh, what if I do this? Oh, cool. So I'll just be in the fucking shower. Just like drawing and shit on the wall with my fingers and shit. Yeah, but sometimes when my hair falls out, I'll use the lines of the hairs to like make shapes and shit. Yeah, in fact, I'll take shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah, but I don't know if you want to talk about your band, man. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. My band. <laughs> I went on a whole fucking rant on that shit, but, right, bro, it's, it's been a fucking wild ride, bro, I've been since, with them since day one, like, even before they were dead awake, like, some PTP shit, and that broke up, and I thought that was it, you know, they were gonna go on through lines, but no, they end up with the band dead awake, it was Michael, lead guitarist, Anthony, on bass, Peyton on drums, and no one on vocals and then later down the road we got dylan that was our second vocalist which turned out to be our main vocalist now mm -hmm. and Mor morgan used to be our guitarist he ended up being becoming a grown-up he decided to leave respect and well, now we have like this, this other dude michael it's fucking confusing it, but the difference is, like, this dude's fucking swole. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like, I call him muscles at this point, dude. Because, yeah. like, dude, like, he's a personal trainer and shit. Oh, okay. So, like, this dude is, like, like spilt like a shipwreck fucking house, dude. He is stacked. Yeah. So, I call the other one Mikey and the new one muscles. <laughs> but, dude, at first it was just, like, playing local and shit. And then we got offered to... I think our big, the first big show we ever did, I want to say, was either, uh, it was in fucking Madison, Wisconsin, with the um, last 10 seconds of life, and so this is suffering. I fucking love those bands. And it was a fucking night to remember. So we get there, it's a small venue, it's cool as shit, it's dark, it's red, there's like neon sign, 
It's fucking like, dude. That was one side of the fucking venue. There was another part of the venue that was a different fucking layout. If it was more lit up, more for raves, and there was another one like it was like three venues in one, okay. and it was pretty fucking cool, dude. Like different vibes type of shit. And we get to it, we set up, and then we start talking to people. You know, it's another show. We're packing up. Parking there fucking sucks. We had to park in a parking garage. Pull up the car, like, around the parking garage into the alley. We do that. And in the meantime, Michael's going to get his van from, from the parking garage to get his guitars and shit. It was move-out week or some shit like that. And all the college kids were throwing their shit outside in the alley so the trash can pick them up because they're not going to fucking take it with them. They're done. Yeah. The fucking whatever. And he left his, like, expensive guitars out on the fucking, a- in the alley. But everyone was there. And we we're like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Because he's, like, three drunk dudes came out trying to steal shit. And, like, trying to be so funny. And then the main vocalist from the other band's like, hey, what the fuck you doing, bro? What the fuck you doing? And one of them was, like, this dude was, like, fucking tall. Like, kind of, like, beefy gold fucking chains on. Like, that dude doesn't, like, tattooed all over. He doesn't look like nothing you want to fuck with. Okay, yeah. And then, oh, the dude's the same, but he's, like, like, same. It's kind of the same shit. And, it's fucking, they, sooner or later, they start fucking running, talking shit, and then, I see them walking towards them, so I run with them. I'm like, what's good, bro? What's good? What's good? And, He's like, man, fuck you, bros. Fuck you, this and that. We don't want your fucking this and that. If we wanted to, we would have taken that shit by now. Fuck off. And these are like some preppy white boys. Yeah. So I know they're just talking out of their ass. Because it's like four of us against like three of them. Yeah. So even if the odds were to it, like they would have got their ass as well. Yeah. And then one of them, I think, I think they said some fucking bullshit. And the vocalist, like one of the vocalists just fucking sucker punched them and knocked them on the fucking ground. Ooh. And the other boys were like, what's up, bro? And then they were just fucking stumbling. Like, man, fuck you, this and that. And then we were just there like, what's up, bro? And then one dude came out of his van. was like, dude, I was just trying to eat my fucking pizza. He was in the fucking <laughs> driver's seat eating his fucking dinner from the, for that night. Dude, I was like, damn, dude, you were just trying to eat your fucking pizza, bro. And they're out here jumping on your car and shit, too. Being fucking obnoxious, thinking they're funny. I'm like, no. <laughs> and after that we became good friends with um the vocals of last ten and their guitars. Overall those dudes are fucking amazing. Oh, I fucking love them dude. And so is so so this is our friend too. Love them. That was that was I wanna say one of the first big shows that we played with the big bands. <clears throat> and we've played the Apollo with like some other like an uh this band called Ginger. They're pretty they're not pretty fucking that big, they're but they're fuck, they're they're fucking big. I'll say that. Okay. Like, they had their own fucking bus. Okay. And when you have your own fucking bus, dude, with beds and shit, yeah. you fucking made it, dude. Like, like they're from fucking Europe. They came to fucking Belvedere to play. Oh really? Like, dude, they had their own bus and shit. It was cool. Yeah, it's cool. We played with them. Then we went on tour in 2019. It was like a week long tour. First stop was fucking um, in Kensington and Preserving Hardcore. Awesome fucking venue. It was weird, dude, because it looked like Broadway, but more run down. Like, you know oh, how shit. Broadway has some abandoned buildings yeah, that are yeah, boarded yeah. up? No, those were just fucking open. You could just walk in the bitches if you wanted to. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the whole time we're walking around, I'm like, where the fuck can we get liquor? And over there, like in Pittsburgh, or fuck, I don't know what fucking state, but there, you have to fucking, you have to, I don't know if it, yeah, you have to fucking go to a certified store to get liquor. Like, Walgreens doesn't sell liquor. The gas station doesn't sell liquor. Not even, like, um. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Fucking, um, none of the places sell fucking liquor. You gotta go to, like, a certified liquor store by the government. Yeah. So you can go buy your own liquor there. Weird. It's fucking weird. It's like, <laughs> it's like, damn, so the whole time they were like, go to the gas station, go to the Walgreens. Go to there. Like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. And we looked it up and like, oh, there's a liquor store. And we just got our shit there. And then at the end of the show, there was like some fucking sirens going off. It felt like I was in fallout. Yeah. I was like middle of the <laughs> night and there's just fucking like, Daniel sounded like a nuclear raid siren. Oh, sure. And I'm like, what the 
fuck did I end up in? <laughs> Later that night, we got an Airbnb. It was supposed to be a Game of Thrones theme Airbnb, like an empty, like an old church that they renovated and shit. Oh shit! No, dude, that place was still under construction, <laughs> and there was only two beds. Yeah. And the rest of us had to sleep in fucking tents. Everyone had to sleep in fucking tents with fucking blankets on the floor. And it was because there was only two fucking beds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on top was like a TV that only got four channels. You want a water or something, bro? Yeah, let me go. Yeah. My bad, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Fucking. We get there. And we're like, what the fuck? And. Yeah. Then we then they end up going to a bar because I guess you can also get liquor from bars, so they went to a bar to go get some beers. And half of us went, half of us stayed. I stayed because I wanted a shower, and this is the weirdest part, dude. The shower was in the confession booth. What the, the fuck? shower was in the fucking <laughs> confession booth. So the whole time I'm in there, I'm like, dude, I can fucking weird it out, man. I don't like this because the whole bathroom on the inside was stainless steel. Oh, okay, okay. So it was just like stainless steel everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I feel like I'm about to, I feel like I'm about to be murdered here, and no one's gonna notice. <laughs> oh shit, dude, that that's weird and creepy. Imagine you turn off the shower and then like you hear, all right, now give me thirteen Hail Marys. Oh fuck, oh, man, that shit was creepy. And they get back from the fucking bar from buying liquor. And they come in running and say, like, dude, we got to fucking lock all the doors and this and that. I'm like, what do you mean lock all the fucking doors? Yeah, dude, there's a dude outside that asked if we could stay with us, if he could stay with us. And he said he had a fucking piece. I'm like, dude, he's probably talking about a bull, but they thought he had a fucking gun. And I'm like, you don't fucking have a gun. Why the fuck would he have that shit? Like, come on. He's, he's a fucking drunk. If he had it, he probably would already use it on you two idiots right now. Yeah. So I have to take out my fucking belt and my shoelaces for my fucking shoes and, like, tie the fucking doors together. So nobody fucking gets in. And we had to barricade all the fucking doors. Oh, shit. And everyone was scared and shit. I'm like, dude, you're fine. We're good. We're in a big-ass empty church. We'll hear... If we hear the fucking noise, we'll hear it because it's empty. It's going to fucking echo and shit. Oh, dude. That's, that's weird, dude. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm just like, dude, whatever. So we hop in the fucking truck and we get on to the next show. It's in New York. Mm, shout out New York. We get to New York. And, dude... And it's a, it's a cool fucking, like, it looks like a Daniel Theater place, but it's, like, built for, like, shows and shit. It's pretty fucking cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got there. I, uh, there was a photographer. She was on that. She was around there at, at that time. She was, like, if she, like, if she wanted, she asked if we she could do our photos for that show. I'm, like, yeah, for sure. We got you. So I went over there. We walked around and explored for a bit. There was these cool, there was, like, these factories, dude. They were fucking covered in, like, paintings and shit and graph. And it was, like. Like murals, dude. It was fucking sick, dude. Yeah. Um, so that's uh and then Wait, when you were in New York, did you try to find the like Montana building? No, no. Yeah. I I really had that option too. Yeah, no fuck. Yeah, when I when I visited I, I was trying to see on our path to look at New York that I, it would be around, but no. But it's somewhere there in New York. It's hidden. It's yeah. a secret. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking it's another show. We're like, all right, where are we going to go eat? There's this one place in downtown. They had, they had a thing called the garbage plate or the hot plate. I forgot which one it was called, but the garbage plate stuck with me. It's a, For $5, they'd load your plate up with a bunch of random shit. And you feel like shit. I mean, it fills you up, but it's not really that good, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. It was sketch. So I'm leaving. And I have my, like, tour lanyard on me. Like, climbing it so, like, I can go to the show, show them, and then, like, okay, cool, you can go in. I get that shit, and I have, like, my fucking side bag on me, and it's like, hey, hey, bro, come here, bro, hey, bro, come on, let me get, let me get like, 10 bucks, bro. Like, like, what the fuck, excuse me? And I'm like, what the fuck you mean, 10 bucks? Like, bro, I see that line on you, bro, you were touring, bro, you got money, bro, come on, bro, let me get $10, oh, bro. Yeah. I'm like, bro, fuck you, bro. Like, <clears throat> I'm not giving you shit. All I got is, like, change on me. I just spent my last 20 bucks on me and my homie. Nah, bro, I see you, bro. That shirt, bro, that phone, and those, and that fucking, in that bag, bro. I know you got money, bro. Come on, bro. Give it up, bro. He kind of got more aggressive. I'm like, bro, back the fuck up. I don't want to go. Go yeah. away. Yeah. No. Uh, bro, I'm like, here, I got you, bro. I just had like a handful of fucking change. It was probably like 50 fucking cents. Like, here, bro. He's like, man, fuck. Threw it on the floor. Yeah. I looked at him all pissed off. I don't want that shit, man. 
come on, bro. I'm like, dude, if you, like, I'll give you money. But only if you admit you're going to do fucking drugs. I damn well know you're not going there and going to get, like, a fucking plate. Mm. And you can go fuck yourself, bro. Yeah. Like, man, fuck, whatever, bro. And then as soon as everyone else came out, they were like, no, 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 no. And he just got more irritated and shit. And then we left. And then um, we went to a fucking Philly. It was a shit, dude. Yeah. Philly was a shit. It kind of sucked for me because I, I'm, I was in 21 at the time. And the venue we played was only for 21 and up. Oof. So only the drummer could stay in it, mostly because he played in the band. Even though I was selling shirts and just chilling, yeah. I couldn't be there because of that. So our driver had to stick up and do that shit. So the whole fucking day, I'm outside just walking around downtown Philly. Just fucking writing on walls, doing dumb shit, checking out stores, so on and so forth. Because I couldn't go into the fucking bar. Do that. And I'm like, fuck, dude. This is fucking gay. Yeah. I just explored. It was pretty fucked. Well, I, I walked like like seven, like five miles away from the fucking venue on myself. Mm. Came back, saw some pretty cool shit. It was fucking cool. But what, what, what you enjoy from the trip? Um, the place just looked like fucking Chicago, like the part where I was at. Oh, really? Like you know, with the elevated trains and shit. Yeah, yeah. It felt like that. I was like, it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Like did, I was just at home. did the vibe feel different? Yeah, it felt different because I was like, fuck, if I'm gonna like draw something on a wall or like right on the wall like I felt people were gonna look like hey you can't do that shit yeah that was just one fucking girl she was like she saw me and she saw me drop the mark she's like oh don't worry about it I got you I'll look out for you and she had her old kid with her she's like you're good go for it I was like hell yeah I like that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. have a good day <laughs> I'm like damn and that just made me feel more comfortable I was like man fuck it I'll do it here I'll do it there I'll do it there yeah, yeah, yeah. it was fun yeah, that's dope. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to another area or state where, or like another scene in another state where there's like murals graffiti? Yeah, the fucking the, the New York one. There's this place out in Iowa City. It's called Gabe's. Uh-huh. It's like, uh, so it's like a building. It's like a fucking venue. The venue's upstairs and the bar is downstairs, but they also have a bar upstairs. But, you know, upstairs is where the music is at. It's like an old, like, fucking, like, the backyard. I, I would call it, no, I'm going to call it the patio. Dude, from the wall to wall to wall. It's just fucking graph pieces everywhere. Ooh. Like, and, dude, it, it was so fucking awesome, dude. Like, holy shit. That place was fucking cool. Oof. Like, even on the fence in the alley, there was graph. Oh, really? Like, dude, from, and that place was, like, two stories up from the, Top to the fucking bottom, those just pieces and shit. Oh, damn, that was crazy. Yeah, this is the first battery. We're still recording. Uh, well, uh, audio. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, dude, that was. Gabe's and I was pretty fucking cool. We fucking, we, we rented out of a hotel because that was the first we've ever drove. It was like three hours away. We needed rest and shit. And we get to the hotel. We got our room. And then we're going to go to Walmart to get some food because we're hungry. We go to Walmart and we're walking out and there's like these two dudes and two girls. And like, what band are you guys in? Because they saw us walking out in the corner of them. We were walking like how the Beatles walked down to that one album cover, you know, yeah. one after another and shit in sync. And like, oh, yeah, we're in a band. Like, oh, God, oh, shit, you guys are really in a band? Fuck, we were just saying that because you guys look like the Beatles in that album cover. <laughs> like, no, dude. Like, and then we got to talking. Like, yeah, we're going to Gathering on the Juggalos with ICP and shit. And it's oh, pretty shit. cool. Like, hopefully you guys play there because we've heard your music. It's pretty cool. Or oh. something like that. Yeah, I think we ran into Juggalos. Oh, they smoked us up. Mm. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, who, who, which members of the jugglers did you? That was, it wasn't even members. It was just like fans and shit. Oh, okay. okay. It was pretty fucking cool though. Yeah. Um, shit. I was uh. Um, what else? Oh yeah, yeah. It was literally the show before we went on the road. This is fucking funny as shit. As a dude, bro, he's like, "Hey, bro, come on, bro, I own this building, bro, you can park here." It was in downtown Naperville. This lady was like, no, you can't park here. I don't know what the fuck said that. Get the fuck out of here. I don't own this building. So we parked, like, next to the, all the other fucking vans and shit. It's fucking weird. And we get to the show, and then this dude is like, man, 
this and that, man. I'll get some bitches out of here, bro. I'll come down the street. It's like four, seven blocks away. I got a hotel room with bitches. Y'all can come through. Y'all can fuck this and that. I'm like, no. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm from the south side, bro. Come on, bro. You can leave your shit with us, bro. We trust you, bro. We got you, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, no, bro. Fuck that. Fucking sus as hell. <laughs> you got me fucked up if I'm leaving all this shit with you, bro. Like, no. And this one dude was like, he was like cracking gay jokes and shit. And like, what the fuck, bro? I don't talk. Who the, where the fuck you from, bro? Where the fuck you from, bro? He was checking on me. Like, I don't like that shit, bro. I don't fuck with, the, I don't fuck with you like that right now, bro. Like, where the fuck you from, bro? I'm from here, bro. Where the fuck you ain't, you ain't from there, bro? You don't know what I done, bro. Mm. I'm like, man, you fucked up, bro. <laughs> you fucked up. I'm like, man, I'm gonna walk away before shit gets ugly. I'm just yeah. my goddamn problem, shit. I'm gonna like, leave now. So I was, uh, fucking. Yeah, dude, it's fucking crazy, bro. I, I was in, I went to New York twice in fucking, um, 2019. It was fucking amazing. And then went out to Philly to record. To record a little something, something with um, this this pretty cool dude, mm. and yeah, dude, it was fun. Saw all these people there when I was when I was out there. Really? It's like <laughs> weird. They pulled up to a gas station. I'm like, the horse and carriage. Yeah, horse and carriage. I'm like, okay, I'm doing that gas station shit. You see him put the gas holes in the fucking carriage or something. I'm like, like no fucking way, no fucking way. This whole time he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. I fucking love my boys, bro. It's this shit every time they get to a show. It's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, the, where can we find your band, or do they have any platform they upload, or... Yeah, everything, bro. Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, Bandcamp, I think. I don't want to say Bandcamp. Um, don't call don't me on that one. Oh, uh, we have physical versions of our physical... CDs of the album we just released. Mm, dope, but dope, dope, man. Here, fucking mm-hmm. just on Instagram, Dead Awake Band, Facebook, Twitter. No TikTok yet. I'm trying to get them on that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, TikTok, uh, I don't know. Some people have, you know, feels about it. Like me, I really don't fuck with it. Yeah. I feel like that's beyond me, you know? Yeah, no. I do it just because it's fucking, like, I'll be out and, like, I'm bored. I'll just go spend spend like an hour on that and like damn. Yeah, and, th- and that's weird because you know, like me, I won't do it. I'm 27. Fucking, my parents are older, but they have <laughs> they be on it for hours, bro. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like damn. It, it just be like it just goes to show you like everyone getting get into it. Yeah, and everyone at work be like, man, these bitches are some little kids and whatnot. I'm like, you say that now, but you gotta like you gotta like some specific videos and get the right type of videos on your feed. I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like the graph should be on there for me. The cooking should be on there for me. Mm, dope. And like, like funny memes. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, but yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Now me, bro, the cause I don't be on TikTok, but I be on Facebook, and you know how people upload videos from TikTok. Yeah. I love watching the funny ones and then uh, the conspiracies where they'd be like, look at this. Does this make sense? No. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I like watching those. There's some. That's this fucking video. It fucking helped me out, bro, because being with bands and shit, they'd be releasing merch and like they'd be selling out quick. And sometimes you can only get like a size more than the size you use. I was like, fuck. So I there's like this one shirt I really wanted. I bought it. Didn't fit me. I was like, fuck, I'll probably lose weight. You know, everyone's like, oh, I'll lose weight, you know. So that, and then this video I stumbled upon. I was like, how to stretch your shirts and make them stretch, like stay stretched forever. Yeah. It was this dude. And he fuck, I did it. And that shirt fucking fits me now, bro. <laughs> and it's yeah. just like smaller than me. And it feels like the other size I was looking for. And it's yeah. like, dude, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be finding, like, cool shit like that, you know? Yeah. I love it. Dude, that, that's weird, man, right? Because, I mean, some of them are helpful, but some of them are just weird that they're fake. Yeah, it's, it was just one. I was like, I was like some car shit. It was like, you know how, like, your, like, headlights can get, like, all fucking, like, crusty and dusty shit? Yeah. I was like, if you put baking soda and an orange and you rub it on your headlight for a while, it'll make it clear again. 
I'm like, bullshit, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fucking waste the whole fucking orange and some baking soda just to see if it fucking works. I'd rather just get a new fucking headlight at that point, shit. Yeah. Ain't no fucking point for me to waste that shit. You know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's wait, you didn't try it? Nah, oh, okay. I'm not fucking doing that <laughs> shit. Cause, dude, I mean, yeah, like I said, some of them be fake, but. Yeah, to me, that one, because I see in that video, people, like, uh, grab an orange or they put the baking soda on the orange, they rub it, and then they put, like, plastic on it or something, let it sit for hours, and apparently that works, but, dude, to me, that one seems kind of fake. That's, I, I want to say it's fake, because I've never seen someone really do it. Yeah. I've never heard, like, hey, you'll do this shit. Hey, you'll do this shit. I've never heard no one tell me that shit. And me, dude, the, the video I saw, dude, the... The headlight looked horrible, bro. And then when they took out the plastic, it looked brand new, which was sketchy. I'm fucking sus. Yeah, dude. I'm like, nah. Uh, I, I ain't rocking with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't with that shit. Yeah. But yeah, man, Carlos, man, thank you for coming, man. We're at that hour and 15 minutes, man. Damn, time passes by fast as fuck. Yeah, yeah, dude. Especially when you're talking about yourself, man, and just, you know, re revealing stuff here and there, talking about old memories. It goes by fast, man. You know, for sure, for sure. But, um, yeah, if you feel like you're not finished, man, definitely let's schedule another one. Come back. For sure, for sure. Yeah. De definitely schedule one where you can't, where you can, you know, smoke and stuff. And yeah, shit. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because, dude, trust me, man, that, that coconut oil, that, that one's a good recipe, man. Shit, right. Yeah. I was gonna bring my graphic design on me, but ever since he had his kid, he's been working, staying up, taking care of the kid. It's just been like he has been tired as fuck, you know. I've been like I've been talking like, bro, come on, bro, come with me, bro. Yeah. You should get yourself out because he also does beats too. Okay, cool. So yeah. I'm trying to get him out here. Yeah, yeah. So Any anybody you know, big or small, I know I have people that have a following already, and and they they help me out, you know. But you know anybody. Who doesn't really get themselves out there, you know, it does help to have stuff like this. You know? For sure, for sure. And, um, yeah, <coughs> yeah, man, uh, I, I really didn't have nothing, no time to really draw because I have a few things I'm uh, doing. You there, bro, for sure. But definitely when you come back, man, I will have something for you. For real. Shit. I got something for you, bro. Ooh, Ooh, let's see what you got because you said you had a surprise, man. Hell yeah, it's my boy. Hell oh, yes. That's my favorite fucking backpack. I got it. Fucking since I was like fucking. I think like beginning of freshman year, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, for real? You still got that? Yeah, dude. It's fucking lit. I remember in school, people were always like, yo, bro, look it up. Let me let me trade you my backpack, bro. Like, <laughs> no, bro, this shit's clean. <laughs> it goes with damn near everything I wear, shit. Yeah. Uh, I just some stickers I make for you, my boy. Oh, thank you, dude. Man. Hell yeah. This motherfucking canvas I make you, bro. No way, dude. Oh, dude. I feel like such an asshole. Nah, bro. You good, bro. Holy. I ain't even there you go, bro. Holy shit. Hell yeah, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna put this up somewhere. Do you, do you want me to show the camera? You just... Sure, fuck. I don't give a shit. Right. Oh, dude. Look at that, man. And we got some stickers right here, guys. I'm, I'm gonna put it on Facebook. Ain't Facebook. Well, Facebook and Instagram. But yeah. Ooh. Oh, thank you, man, bro. I'm oh my god, I'm definitely, I, I'm definitely happy, bro. Thank you, for, yeah, yeah, bro. thank for you, sure, for sure. Glad you like it, bro. Oh, I love it, man. Hell yeah, clean. Hell yeah, but man, that's what we do from A to Z, man. We bring people with talent, you know, skills, you know, try to show as much love as I can when I can. Thank you, Car Carlos, for coming, man, and for the gifts, man. I really appreciate it, man. I definitely feel like an asshole, but I'm definitely gonna <laughs> make good, it up. Bro. I'm gonna make it up, man. But um, sure. let us know one more time. Where can we find you? Your merch, your drawings, if you sell them, uh, your band information. One more time, if you can. For sure, Carlos, again like, on Facebook, um, Cmarta underscore six 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 on fucking Instagram, um. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I think I'm thinking about making it like a Snapchat for like my art shit. So like, if you want to buy, you can hit me up on Snapchat or putting it on Depop. You know, yeah. get my name out there type of shit. Yeah, because you, you you got a couple of spots, man. Uh, you got Etsy, but you got to pay like a couple cents a month. Yeah. To promote it, and then you got a Squarespace, but you need like a whole what twenty forty bucks a month for that. Facts. Yeah. I'm also also it's just it's still in the works. Exotic sauces huh? and shit. Exotic snacks. Like the corner store, but straight up like imports from Japan. Ooh. Dope. Like 
Like, uh, and there's these. I got some cans, but I forgot to bring you one. But next time I come through, I got you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Man. Uh, white Fanta, uh, white peach Fanta in the aluminum can. That's like Daniel Collector's Edition because they're not making that shit no more. Okay, yeah, yeah. And like some like other shit like that. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get in the snack game because I've been in it. Like I've been watching it since like 2016. Yeah, yeah. And now that I've only got big boy money, shit, I can finally make, start making my dream come true. Yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. Oh, yeah, sure, bro. And when you'll be posting that if you do? Uh, posting that if you do, I plan on making a Instagram. Okay. Uh, no, I'm still in the works, still working out on the name and shit, but main one right now is like Screw City Exotics or some shit like that. Yeah, that'll be dope. Oh, yeah, dude. Keep them looking for that one. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely check them out, man. Uh, follow, subscribe, and check them out, man. Uh, and stay tuned and stay safe, guys. Peace.